Welcome to this INACnet technology introduction. This course is split into two parts. In part one, we will discuss some of the megatrends occurring in in-vehicle networks, or IVN. We present emerging new audio applications and how INACnet provides an efficient infrastructure to implement them. We will also introduce some of the tools available to design these systems. In part two, we get into the details of synchronizing information and how various data channels work on INACnet. A simple network management stack is introduced through Microchip's Unified Centralized Network Stack, called Unisense. There are several mega trends going on in the automotive industry. Most traditional car makers, as well as new entrants to the industry, are focusing on autonomous driving. This will fundamentally shift how cars are used to transport people and what people do when sitting inside a vehicle. Vehicle occupants will increasingly demand more comfort and connectivity to the outside world making information and entertainment systems a central focus. Electrification has been chosen as the answer to environmental concerns and electric drivetrains are in focus, along with their power sources. Mobility is the fourth megatrend, allowing people to work from anywhere. This trend goes along with the comfort and connectivity trend that consumers are demanding of their vehicles. One set of applications of IVN that is thrust to the forefront of these megatrends is automotive audio, which goes far beyond just playing music. New levels of clarity for voice calls and voice commands are needed. Personal sound bubbles will be used around each occupant to create personal communication zones. Voice assistants will be more widely used and consumers will demand the freedom to choose their preferred one. Active noise cancellation will make vehicle interiors quieter as it reduces road noise, but at the same time there will be a need to create sounds outside of the vehicle to let the outside world know that a vehicle is approaching. Emergency calling is already a requirement in many areas and a reliable e-call system independent of the rest of the vehicle is being put into many new vehicles. Finally, all of these systems require the ability to be updated in the field. These updates are sometimes transmitted over the air or software can be downloaded at a service garage. Diagnostics also need access to the IVN to find any service problems that arise. There are many networking systems in automobiles each optimized for specific applications. Audio applications require very low latency to either render the audio or record it and send it somewhere for processing. This transmission has to be deterministic and occur in a specific amount of time. Bandwidth efficiency can be achieved by eliminating the need for addressing and other packet information as streams of audio continuously flow between two given points. INICnet meets all of these requirements and in addition provides simple mechanisms to upgrade the software of any component connected to it. It also can transport Ethernet frames without any changes for easy coexistence in architectures that include Ethernet components. So what is INICnet technology? INICnet is a single powerful network that simultaneously supports the transport of all infotainment system data types between ECUs. It is a network of intelligent network interface controllers that can transport audio, video, Ethernet, and IP, as well as control and power over a single cable. In addition to efficient streaming of information that continuously flows, it supports high bandwidth IP-based networks. The network resources can easily be managed using simple commands or with Unisends, the Unified Centralized Network Stack. The INIX route data using standard application interfaces such as I2S and I2C, among others. Network management is integrated, offloading the processor from having to manage real-time network operations. In fact, INICnet nodes do not even require a local processor. The INIC in a remote node can be configured over the network and peripheral components can be managed via remote I2C. The network starts up immediately and applications attach themselves to it as their processors boot up. The communication channel is quickly available for critical functions. INICnet supports the transport of 50 megabits per second over UTP wires or 150 megabits per second over coax. INICnet technology offers a very simple and flexible network with very efficient, powerful, and cost-effective data transport. The nodes can be arranged in any order without the need for reprogramming, and the network operations will be exactly the same. Data is transported in its native format. No addressing, no headers, no footers, etc. For stream applications, the network provides a low latency link between stream data input on one node and output on another node. Packet data is supported via well-known Ethernet frames, and all higher-level software layers used in Ethernet systems can be placed over the INICnet data link layer. Applications can easily be connected to various operating systems using freely available software for automotive-grade Linux, Android, QNX, and even bare metal. 
INICnet technology uses electrical signals over UTP cable or coax cable in a point-to-point -point physical topology. INICnet is scalable in terms of the number of nodes in the network. It supports two node, point-to-point -point links, and up to dozens of nodes for sophisticated systems. The maximum number of nodes in an INICnet is 20 nodes according to the specification, even if the absolute maximum is in the range of 50 to 64 nodes, depending on the length of the cables. However, a typical network in a car might consist of two to eight nodes. In an INICnet system, the maximum distance between nodes is 15 meters. Network topologies include point-to-point, -point, closed ring, and daisy chain. INICnet technology even supports certain mixed topologies, enabling very scalable networks. Power over data line is also supported. Let's look at some of the features of the speed grade called INICnet 50 UTP. It provides a bandwidth of approximately 50 megabits per second and can transport up to 29 simultaneous stereo audio channels without any collisions or congestion. Plenty of bandwidth is available for most stream and packet applications. INICnet 50 UTP runs over unshielded twisted pair cabling, which allows for simple handling in the car production environment. The twist length of approximately 12 millimeters provides immunity against electromagnetic interference. Several types of inexpensive crimp style connectors are available and can be implemented according to the OEM's needs. BFI technology supports a maximum number of six inline connectors between two devices. The B5 front end is integrated into the OS8121X INIC family to save cost and space of a passive transceiver. A robust and low-cost physical layer based on a coaxial cable and connectors is available for INIC Net 150 coax systems. The network has a bandwidth of approximately 150 megabits per second and can transport up to 93 simultaneous stereo audio channels without any collisions or congestion. INIC Net 150 coax provides sufficient bandwidth to support multi-channel video applications along with high-performance packet data requirements. This cabling supports bi-directional transmission, making it ideal for connecting remote devices, such as a camera, tuner, or a display of a rear seat entertainment system with just one cable using daisy chain topology. The FACRA connector was developed for automotive applications in 2000, and available development boards can be switched between ring topology, unidirectional, or daisy chain, bi-directional, C5 front ends. As a high-speed digital network technology, INICnet technology is able to transport multiple types of data in their native formats, such as digital audio and video streams, metadata, and Ethernet packets. INICnet transmits data over a single physical channel by applying time division multiplexing techniques. This means the same network and cable is used to transmit multiple digital audio channels, multiple video channels, data, and files between nodes and a control channel for managing the various applications in the system. In addition, power over data line is supported. Furthermore, INICnet technology reduces the complexity, weight, volume, and cost of the wiring harness. For example, control communication does not require any extra cabling or connectors as compared to conventional architectures, which might have an analog audio connection and an additional CAN line for device control. There is a family of INIC 50 UTP ICs. They differ in the application interfaces that they provide and are targeted towards different types of system components, providing cost and size flexibility. The various multiplex channels transported by INICnet can be routed to application interfaces like SPI, I2C, I2S, and others. There are two variants of the INICnet 150 coax ICs, the OS 81118 AF uses a single network interface, while the OS 81119 AF has two network interfaces to implement a daisy chain topology. Interconnecting disparate, independent devices connected to a network is a complex endeavor. In addition to the semiconductor products needed to implement these connections, Microchip offers support, tools, and training to help customers more quickly develop complete systems for vehicles where a network is used. For INICnet technology, a complete tool ecosystem is provided through K2L. The INICnet technology 50 UTP slim board family is a set of rapid prototyping boards. It consists of USB application boards, slim microphone boards, slim auxiliary I.O. boards, 
a slim amplifier board, and a power over data line injector box, enabling customers to build various demo systems. Slim boards are simple devices that are controlled remotely without the need of onboard processors. The iNicNet Technology 50 UTP Sniffer is an analyzer tool for iNicNet that works seamlessly with the OptoLizer Studio PC software. In order to stream content like audio data, the iNicNet 50 UTP streamer can be used. MPLAB Network Creator is used to generate a valid system descriptor file for Unisense on the root node. It also supports the configuration of all iNICs in your iNicNet through iNIC Kit. The iNIC Kit can be used to program and debug iNICs that support iNicNet technology. For this purpose, the iNIC Kit box offers connectivity between a host application, for example, MPLAB running on a PC, and an iNIC device. Functionality similar to the sniffer and streamer is available for iNIC Technology 150 coax through the Mocha Compact hardware. The software and iNIC kit for iNIC 150 coax are the same as for the iNIC 50 UTP, making migration to a different speed grade easy. Product briefs, application notes, and iNICnet tool information is available on the website. More information is available on request through iNICnet at microchip.com. Thanks for watching part one of this iNICnet technology introduction. Enjoy this brief quiz and be sure to watch part two. For more information, please visit microchip.com slash iNICnet.